All right, Aaron's woken up, starting the day with a meal. Um, you know, it's a healthy way to start the day. I don't mind starting my day that way either. Uh, where does wood go, I wonder? We should create a better wood stockpile, I think. I'm going to make one right here, I think. This is just going to be like a sheer like wood pile. So the zone area, I'm going to build a roof area right here. And stockpile zone area, I am going to make this clear everything except for raw items. Is that where wood is? Plant matter. Um, wood. And then for here, I'm going to get rid of wood as being allowed. And that'll be lit. And that way Aaron can start hauling wood this way. And we can get, um, yeah, that'll just be the way things are. And once Aaron's done relaxing socially, I'll just get this wood hauling. Friendly AI from your past named Charlin Whitestone has sent you a message. Okay, so this is actually pretty important. Let's just find out where this is. So basically, that we just found, like, uh, AI from our past has told us that there's a spaceship somewhere on the planet that'll help us out. And that's awesome, because we want to get out of here. Alright, so it's that purple flag all the way over there. And we're that light blue base all the way over here. And so, what we would basically have to do is go over here and just kind of, like, mar walk our way all the way up as a caravan eventually and get there. And that's actually pretty doable, and I think that's going to be the plan to get, like, five guys up there just to get to that ship, because then we'll get out and... I actually don't know what happens when you get to the ship. This is the world, by the way. I chose a pretty solid location. I think there's a lot of orange dudes nearby, but there's also pretty good trading opportunities, so it'll hopefully keep things spicy. Um, but yeah, uh, that's just good to know Like that that AI has things appeared, and it's actually not too terrible in terms of where it could have spawned. So hopefully things will go well for us. Aaron, how's your growing going? Seven, that's solid. Um, Downs, what are you up to? <coughs> <coughs> Wow, solid cough. Downs, what are you up to? Um, you are eating your food. Chow, you are tending to recruit Sammy. Let's see what the percentage is here, actually. Let's see how close we are with Sammy. If we're actually worrying on him. If we're somewhere in, like, the 1% range, I think we'd be in a pretty good space. My fucking boomalope is eating that fucking plant right there. What an asshole. I want to, like, ban them from the zone, so I'm going to create, like an area, and then not let the, um, animals in. Like, I think that's just a good idea. Um, why don't I create a do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do clear allow area. So, expand and allowed area. Alright, so. Oh, which one? I want to do animal area one, manage areas. Um, animal area one, I'm just going to delete. New animal area. Alright, animal area one. Close, then bam. Do animal area one, and I'm just going to cover this, and this, and just then probably just this too. Alright, and this actually. And then I'm going to do, to do, do my areas, and then I'm going to, how did I get there? Animal area one, I want to... Ah, fuck, I want to inverse it. How do I inverse it? Manage areas. Animal area 1, invert. And close. And then my animals, I'm going to assign to animal area 1. So, boomalope are animal area 1, and muffalo 1 is animal area 1. And I can also cut down on... So, they're just, like, assigned animal area 1. And I can actually cut down on animal area 1. Um, clear allowed areas, animal area 1. So... I can cut this area out of Animal Area 1, um, I think is how that works, so Animal Area 1, and then here I can do Animal Area 1, so I can cut areas out of Animal Area 1 that I don't want the animals going, which is kinda helpful, if there's anywhere I kinda see that seems like a bad idea, nothing immediately has come out, caught my eye, which is probably just bad, showmanship, all these unconstructed ships, I'm just gonna throw that out there, I didn't notice them before, yeah, I'm just not being very observant of this map, there's probably, like, a big tiger, like, um, somewhere, that's about to, like, kill a bunch of my dudes, or, like, something, I'm just not paying attention, 
cooking is going well, almost at 10 meals. Once I'm done cooking, then I'll have the freedom to do other things, which is dope. Harvesting rice plants, awesome. Always just love farming. Gotta get some hauling in eventually, though. Taming buffalo. The fight goes on. Animal skills, 7,700. You're going to be 8 pretty soon. That's pretty lit. Going to give us a pretty healthy chance of actually getting some taming done, which is going to be great for us. Um, but I'm going to expand this rice area a little bit to this area, too, just because I see that this is rich soil. So that's um, now... Yeah, that'll be added to the rice farming collective region. Um, how is this cotton going? 68%, that's solid. Soon enough we'll get cotton, which will let us get a pool table. Which I'm looking forward to. I don't know if my pawns are. But, you know, I gotta say, if I was, like, hanging out in this type of environment, I would enjoy a nice game of billiards every now and then. Like, that would be, like, you know, playing something human and civilized, like, from, like, humanity and, like, society would be pretty clutch, like... Alright, making this beaver skin duster. Nice. Love that. Um, how's my crafting coming along? Crafting is getting good, actually. I'm liking that. This duster will be nice because it, it. I like seeing characters with their own like clothing and personality. It makes the world feel lived in. Like the default blue synth thread or whatever material is. It's a neat uniform. But it doesn't, like, have the, like, this is our world and we're from it vibe, which I'm kind of hoping to kind of instill in this um, community. Like, get a good, you just honestly just get a lot of, um, get a lot of stuff out of it. Like, I really want to get this beaver, what is this, this beaver skin duster. I want to get that done. I want to get Shao's. Recruiting Sammy will be good. Honestly, Shao has been doing a whole lot of our, like, interaction with the world. He's been getting the animals on our side, and he's trying to get the people on our side. And his social has been... Eh, it was at 600. It is going up. But his animals at 8. Look at that. I want to actually see him interact, like, trying to um, get an animal now. Because his percentage for boomalopes that was at 7.2 is about to go, bound to go up. And Muffalo was 9%. That's going to go up. And so a higher chance of recruiting is just... I mean, I have to explain it to you guys. Like, it's going to get the recruitment numbers up, which will be pretty lit. Um, Aaron is getting the growing in. Nice. Seven. Once he's at eight, that'll be actually really nice, because then they can take care, take care of the heel root, because right now Downs is the only person who can, and he's at nine growing, I think. I would like him growing more. Like, I would have him do growing, but he's our best cook in terms, in terms of raw number and that he has the um, passion for it, which is... Very important in this game, honestly. Like, it's almost, it's very foolish to not assign passion for, like, the main thing. But you have to work with what you got for, um, a lot of this. So, Aaron is getting our growing going, which is... I'm happy with. Like, I'm just, I think this is, it's coming along pretty nicely. And soon enough, we will actually have you at another level. Um, harvesting rice plant. Like, it's nice because that rice is grown... There's no rice in the food right now. Um, Xiao is taming the muffalo. That's our muffalo, muffalo one. 45% milk, nice. 3.6% wool shows you the disparity in that. Milk is not the best food, but it's good to have as like a constant source of food. And it also gives some animal experience. So like over time, if you want to like... Like if I wanted to farm experience, I would just have somebody milk a bunch of cows. Like have that be their thing. But I don't really want to waste anyone's time, because the only person I'd want to get experience would be Downs to get enough animal experience to have the Warg aside to be his animal, because they have a bond. But he's at, like, zero or one, so there's just there's really no need to, like, waste all that time just to get him to a level where you can get him to actually, um... Yeah, he's at one. Like, we can get him to two or three, but all the way to six is forever. Muffalo, nice. Muffalo, too. It's also a female. Will grow. No injuries. Yeah, see, this muffalo is just, like, any less of a hassle than the other one, just because we don't have to deal with that. But already, look at that, um, Animal Area 1. We are getting a pretty good integration. Like, we are we are making these muffalos our muffalos, which is awesome. And if we can get some male muffalos, that'll be really cool, because they will... Um, breed with them, and we can get baby muffalos, and that'll be pretty cool. Am I gonna have you go kill this raccoon once you eat these berries, Aaron? Yes, I am. 
All right, let us go kill this raccoon. Yeah. Cut, cut, stab, stab. Bam. Oof, my favorite. Another heal animal opportunity. So let us do our move, go to production, or furniture, throw down our animal sleeping spot, turn off our melee, and rescue this raccoon. Throw down, bam, turn off your no medicine. We're not going to give you any medicine, because we're just going to kill you once this whole thing is done. Aaron, how is your medicine medical experience? You were at 6 to 2,000. That is... I'm liking these numbers, you know. I'm just I'm just liking these numbers. I'm liking the direction that these are trending. You're also... Our, I, was trying, I was listening through what everyone did, and I was mentioning earlier that you were the um, grower and hauler, but you're also our doctor. Like, you're going to be our main doctor. Um, and hopefully, once your front leg is healed, I can stab and kill you, Mr. Raccoon. I can stab and kill you. Cutting oak tree. Nope. Cutting raccoon. I actually just got a heal, so I'm just going to do to do to do doctoring. So I just, <laughs> that was kind of pretty barbaric. Like, I healed it enough, crushed its jaw, and I'm now healing it again. This is kind of sadistic, but... It is a good way of getting my doctoring experience up. Like, ugh, I don't know. It doesn't like, you know, it doesn't leave you feeling, like, warm and fuzzy afterwards. Um, bruise, knife. Yeah, well, a stabbing in the head, which crushes its jaw. Like, that makes sense. I don't know. I mean, we need this raccoon dead, because if we don't kill it, then it will just live and not harm us. Alright, Aaron. Stab this raccoon. Bam dead raccoon. Alright, so let's turn off the sleeping spot. Turn off this. Haul this raccoon. Um, you're over here. I'm gonna just raise the um, butcher creature thing, just so we can butcher some creatures, and oof, I kinda wanna go kill that um, turkey real quick. But you're, you're both eating food. I'll have whoever finishes the food first kill that turkey. Um, or maybe I'll just have you go over and... What's your melee at? Yeah, I kind of just want to get you up to 7 melee, just because I think it's funny. Or I could have you do it. Mm. What's your experience at? You're at 4. Yeah, I'm going to have you shoot this turkey, just because I want you to be good at this harvesting rice plant. <laughs> get over here. Why don't we fire at you, turkey? Bam, okay, or you could just, like, suck and miss. Yeah, that is going to fire. Pew, pew. Bam, or you can miss, like, super easily. Bam. Come on, chow, shoot that turkey. Ooh, there you go. Awesome. And... I'll also butcher and make this two butcheries, because we want to kill the raccoon and the turkey. Um... This duster is almost done, which is going to be L-I-T. I really like, like that idea that we have finished another awesome duster. Um, Aaron's getting some harvesting these trees. That's awesome. Okay, so we have at least rice section is done. Um, so I guess, like, planted. We're getting these trees cut. Slowly, I think we're going to domesticate this section of the world. Downs is done with the duster. Which is going to be awesome, I think. Having Downs be done with the Duster really does open us up to a lot more stuff. Because there's nothing to craft right now. And I don't really think that'll change anytime soon. So, once the food is done and the butchering is done, he can grow or haul. And once we're in a situation where we have him growing and hauling, that actually might be really good. Because if we can, um... Yeah, because if we get all the wood in place and all the rocks, like, this'll, this'll be, this is gonna be good. Like, I'm, I'm optimistic with where, the situation that we're in right now. Um, alright. Getting this turkey skin in. Um, do to do, do Let me just, um, take in this situation real quick. Awesome. Alright. Let's see, Xiao. You are trying to detain these boom Oh, yeah, what percentage? I wanted to see what you do at 8. Come on, Xiao, get me a boom -lope. Or if not, let me see what percentage of chance you were to get me a boom -lope. Or, it'll probably take a minute. But, you know, giving it rice is gonna help, and, um, yeah, let me see the... 8%. 8% better than 7.2%. 
Um, yeah, it's not taming. It's shadows friendly communication work, but eight percent's a good number, like compared to six point two percent and seven point two percent. I think it was seven point two percent. But yeah, bottom line, like the the experience is having a significant effect, and eight. You know, it's you know it's gonna be a bit before nine. Like I'm not gonna get optimistic about it approaching nine, but over the course, like I bet before nine, it'll have a few more animals added to our herd. I guess creatures are butchered, um, raccoons dead, and the turkeys dead. Fantastic. Cutting bramble. Yep, going back to farming. I'm excited. Um, selling rice plant. Fantastic. Ba 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 ba. Melee this hair. Bam, bam, killing the bunny, killing the bunny, and killing the bunny. That's pretty gross, you think? It is kind of gross, actually. But hauling the rabbit, like, killing rabbits like that's good in one sense, just because having loose rabbit skin, which I think we do, is um, not the... Uh, wait, isn't that gross? Yeah, isn't, yeah clean vomit. Um, having, like, loose rabbit skin is good, because there's always going to be a few dead rabbits, so every time we add more skin to that, we eventually have enough, like, like, right now I have 11, and you can't really do anything with 11, but I just killed another rabbit, and that'll get me probably up to 22, and I can do something with 22, so it, like, it, it lets me use what I already have, and I'm cleaning up the vomit just because I think the negative beauty modifier is starting to hurt, um, I'm gonna haul this rice, see how much rice we take. I mean, I wish we'd been hauling this this whole time. Like, every time people went to bed, they just hauled some of this rice. Like, things would have been a lot better. Um, but I'm being pedantic. Xiao is playing chess. That's awesome. Resting. Um, how do they like living together? Tired. Awful bedroom. Eight without table. Had to rebuff Downs. Is Downs still upset? Is he mad at anyone? He's only an acquaintance with Xiao. That's kind of iffy. I wish we could have given him the dog. That would make things easier. Um, how is our prisoner doing? Sammy is 90% recruitment difficulty, is healthy, he just has his peg leg, it's just, you know, he's fine, just nothing really is going on. Alright, let's speed up this fucker and see if we can get on to the next day. Down's going to bed, everybody is asleep. Ooh, middle of the night, mad animal, look at this, mad animal. Local boomalope has gone mad. We'll attack everybody that it has seen. Jump location. Fuck, that's not good. That is not good. Um, I'm gonna actually bring out the cavalry. I think everyone should get involved. Um, I hope nobody gets hurt. This is actually gonna be a pretty interesting experience for us. Like, an actual challenge. Because if all the boomalope... Oh, let me just... If it's all the boomalope getting involved, then this is gonna be an issue. So, if it's not, which I think is the case, so... The rifle I'm going to get going up here, knife up here, revolver here. So let's see how this develops. Um, bam, 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 fire. Bam. Ooh, that's a pretty good body shot, actually. Okay, we shot off like their leg. Bam, bam. And come on, cut. Oh, we heard that pig. Awesome. All right, we started a fire. Um, that's a little unfortunate, but, you know, like, it probably won't spread that much. I'm gonna temporarily, um, expand home area, make this the home area, have everybody take care of this fire, just because I want to get that boom up before it burns too much of the meat off. I don't, I'm not sure if that's exactly how it works, but it's kind of how it works, so I'm just gonna... Be content with that explanation. And plus, like, I think just leaving a fire raging is just not a good idea. Because it could spread and burn down a lot of the forest that would otherwise be useful wood or food, you know? Like, burn down a bramble and, like, see it spreading, like, it's cutting down trees and stuff. Like, I'm glad that we're fighting it now. Yikes. Yeah, that's a danger with hunting boomalope. Like, they can really, like, let shit burn. Look at this. Outdoor temperature. Oof. Man, Downs, and you're going back to sleep, but Shao, you are, you are fighting this. I am Jesus Christ. Alright, let me see. If we can hopefully get this boomalope done, like Downs, uh, man, like, yeah, they're, they are fighting a losing fight, but it's, it's like, you know, like, it's some progress being made. I really hope nothing to Aaron's coming to help. Ooh, 
man, Downs, I'm gonna let you take this um, boomalope out of there. Um, boo, 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 shit. Let's expand this home area, make sure everything is in it. Uh, man, like, I think th separating the fire is, like, the great way to, like, kind of stop it from becoming too much of a threat, because if it's all adjacent, that's how it spreads. Like, if there's, like, if each fire is kind of, like, trying to burn its neighbor, that's how it becomes an issue. I don't think this really is going to be much of an issue, um, like, containing it like this. Um, it is, everyone's attention's focused on it, which is how it can be an issue, but, like, see, like, this area, you set trees and stuff and was cleared. Um, I just wanted to get the corpse out of there just because it has some meat, and that's just the only silver lining from this whole situation. Because in a perfect world, we wouldn't have had to have killed a boomalope just because we wanted to tame it. Um, yeah, we're good. I'm going to delete the home area once this thing's done, but I just wanted to um, have my little fire squad put out these fires. Um, is this also in the home area? No, it's not. I'm just going to like make sure we get that one. Um, I could micromanage it a little more, which I think I'm going to, just putting out this little, um, yeah, see, like, see, that's what I wanted to avoid, like, you have to, I, I think, ah, it's so much fire, so much fire, like, but, we're getting to the end, and they're, they're, we're all here, yeah, we almost got it, okay, thank god, I would hate to be a Californian right now, Jesus, all this fire, alright, clear home area, um, bam, alright, yeah, see that scorch zone, though? That, that was pretty burnt because of this. This is actually, hmm, I think I might want to make this a farm just because it seems like a good place to grow. Um, I've been, you know, building a lot of farms lately, but yellow. Um, I don't know what crop I'm going to grow here. Probably nothing too crazy. Bum, bum, bum. What about a... <laughs> no trees, no plants, no... I'm gonna try potato. Let's see if we can just get that going. Um, I'm hoping that we can get Sammy to join our team soon. I think that's gonna be pretty important to get Sammy involved um, soon. You know, like just because we need another body to help us out. Like I'm just gonna haul this wood while I have this guy going over there to cut the tree down. Um, God, there's so much to do, you know, there's so much to go for still. Like, Shao, I, I kind of want you to just, uh, like, it's, it's happening, it's, it's whatever. Um, alright, let's also increase the butcher table just because, eh, nah, like, cook first. I'm glad you're cooking, like, it's, it's working out pretty well, I think overall things are doing a pretty good job. Alright. Let's see, Aaron, you are cutting down trees in this neck of the woods, fine. Might as well. Um, you're taming the boomalope, you downs are cooking the simple meal, and... Yeah, male colonist of AROC121. In the land of AROC121, we are... We are getting... We are getting in our licks. Um, that is to say, we are taking our time. I'm going to haul this wood if we're going to go get some food. Just because I think if you're 8% chance. How's your animal coming along? 1,200, you know, better than 800. Um, wood's moving. Downs is cooking. Um, Aaron's moving this wood. I'm going to speed up a little bit. Taming muffalo. Always good to get some muffalo. Carrying this wood. Cooking this meal. Um... Yeah, I mean, the thing is, even bringing it here is worthless, because we haven't built the roof yet. Just because my constructor dude is too busy trying to tame everything. 10% chance, 10% chance is pretty good. Um, Shao doesn't haul either. But he does construct, and he does milk, which is good, because I guess we need to get milk. Um, I almost even, like, I feel like the <laughs> solution to our problem is to expand our problem. Like, by trying to tame these pigs and... Like, that's, like, such a long-term solution, too. The immediate solution is to get another person to our colony. And part of me wonders if the way to do that is to try and buy a slave in a trade mission. Like, I think we could actually afford to get a trade mission going. I'm almost wondering if that might be the move. Like, actually, you know what? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna get us a freaking trade mission. Get us a caravan going. Holy shit. 
Um, Shao is going to do it because he has the thing. And I am going to have him bring our Muffalo and see if we need anything else. And the items he's going to bring, I'll have him bring the survival meals in case he needs food. So I'm going to make him bring 10 survival meals just in case. And I'll also give him, um, what do we want to give him to trade? I'm going to give him all of the silver, just in case they gets a good deal. I'm going to give him these cloth pants, because you might want to get rid of those. The steel club's not really doing anyone any favors. Um, this duster is poor. Um, I almost want to give in our clothes, our poor clothes, and our awful jackets, because those two things are bad. The shirt and pants I'm going to keep, because we kind of need those. Um, medicine. I'm going to take all the good medicine and sell it, um, just because I don't think we need it. Um, tortoise leather, I don't think we need anything with that. Um, raccoon, I'm going to keep. Squirrel skin, we don't need. Chem fuel, I'm going to get rid of too, just because it's kind of the reason we grow it. And I think that's enough. I'm just going to kind of do that and see how it goes. So zoom in. Awesome. Let's see if that works out well for us.